Hi, I'm David Freeman. I'm from Cicero, Indiana, and this is my Backdraft Racing boat. been a car guy my whole life. I started when my dad was uh, working for race teams when I was a little kid. So I've owned a total of three Cobras. I currently own two. Um, and then I have a Daytona Coupe, which is the coupe version of a Cobra. Um, two of those cars are Factory 5, so I have a Factory 5, what they call Mark III. Um, that car is, uh, is based off of a 1999 Mustang GT drivetrain um, in that car. It was professionally built, so I did not build any of the cars in my garage. I, I can work on them, but I prefer to drive them versus build them. So that, uh, that's the Factory 5. And then the other uh, is a, a Factory 5 Daytona. And that car also is professionally built. That car is a five liter uh, Coyote motor though in that car. Six speed uh, MT82 transmission. Just an incredible car. I, I call it my uh, race car dressed up for prom because it's all race car, but it's really pretty race car. So uh, it's a lot of fun. And, and just you know falling in love with them led me to this car. Um, this is a 100% professionally manufactured car. It's a backdraft racing Cobra. Uh, they're built in South Africa. They arrive in the uh, States fully assembled. A little bit of stuff that they have to do down in Boynton Beach, Florida to, to wrap them up. And then you choose the drivetrain for them. Uh, this particular car has a 7.3 liter Godzilla Ford crate motor in it. So it's uh, doing about 580 horsepower at the crank. Weighs about 2,400 pounds. So uh, it's an incredible car. And um, I don't know, the reason I love them so much is the, the like, smiles per dollar. I, that sounds so corny, but it's, the, it's legit. For what you spend to get one, you would have to spend two or three times that to be in a McLaren or a, a you know, Lamborghini or something like that to get the kind of attention that it gets and to have the kind of performance that you get out of these cars. They're just amazing. Yeah, so every state is a little bit different, but in the state of Indiana, you can title them either as what they repli replicate or the year that it was manufactured. So this car is built in 2022, so it's technically a 2022 car, but it was, as far as the state of Indiana is concerned, it's a 1965. So the title says 1965, registration is 1965, insurance it's a 1965. So, you know, for all intents and purposes, this is 65. That helps if you're sending them off. If you ever sell it and it needs to leave the state, it helps that it's titled as a 65 for emissions purposes. If it needs to go into another state that does emissions, having a 65 versus a 2022 changes the emissions requirements. Totally. Not, not in every state, but in most states, they'll recognize the emissions from a 65 and it'll pass. Whereas as a 2022, it would fail emissions. Indiana uh, special, they call it special construction. Special construction can be uh, anything you say it is basically. So wow. it's kind of cool. Yeah, so on a car like this, you run generally a collector's car policy. And um, so there are a lot of collector cars. Sponsors of Cars and Coffee's Haggerty. Um, so Haggerty's a collector car company. And those policies are good for a number of reasons. One, they're used to cars like this, so they know a lot about them, but they also are a stated value policy. So you tell them how much the car is worth, and then if there was, unfortunately, a total loss of the car, they're gonna pay that stated value. There's never a depreciation on it or anything like that. Now, there are limitations that go into a policy like that, like I can drive this car here to a car event, I cannot drive this car to work every day. Okay. If I was doing that and I had an issue, they may decline the claim because it's intended to be a, you know, a, a Sunday driver car and the insurance rates match that. Like to insure this car, everybody's insurance is a little different, but this car only costs $300 a year to insure. 
and it is a high performance, you know, sports car, race car, basically, and it's, you know, 300 bucks a year to insure it at for its entire replacement value, which is, you know, this you, is as a professionally hey, built car, you, this is a this is a high-end build, it's an expensive car. Are you limited on miles you can put on? Some insurance companies limit the miles that you can put on them. They may be everywhere from a thousand miles on up but others don't have those miles limitations, so you kind of have to shop around. Um, I also have a 22-year-old son who I like to let drive sometimes, normally not by himself, but with me, and some policies won't write somebody under 25. So I had to find one that would allow me to have a 25-year-old on the policy, and um, you know, so I chose a company that, that did that. Thank you guys all for joining me for Car Finds, the full story. These were some really cool cars that we came across at the Cars and Coffee, and I think we got some really good information here on how uh, the legal system kind of works with that. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for everything that you do. Have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys next time.